Uh, there's certainly been more steps to take oversight of sensitive investment. Uh, there's been lots of warnings about the work of Chinese intelligence agents in the UK and, and their uh, interference at levels of government, the military, think tanks and academia. But clearly this report shows there's not been enough. Uh, it also raised concerns that time and time again, security and intelligence resources have been diverted away from China to combat the terrorist threat. Uh, and that is something that uh, senior spies are alive to, but that it is a serious resource consideration as well. Now, Chinese state intelligence targets the UK prolifically and aggressively in a way that poses a challenge for British intelligence agencies. It's according to the Parliament's Intelligence and Security Committee in a report which has been published just now. The committee is critical of the UK government's response to the threat posed by China, questioning the trade-off between economic interest and security concerns. Well, Fiona Hamilton of the Times is crime and security editor and joins me now. Fiona, this report's been a long time in the making, hasn't it? Yes, that's right. Uh, MPs on the Intelligence and Security Committee have been working on this for four years. They've spoken to uh, lots of key senior intelligence figures, including the Director of um, the Dir Director General of MI5. They've also spoken to lots of um, China experts and, and China watchers as well, and as well as um, MPs and others within government. And any surprises in the moment, given it's been, you know, the, these issues have certainly been uh, chewed over for a long time, a lot in the last yeah. four years. Any surprises about either the detail or the scale of the uh, intelligence, the Chinese state targeting the UK? I think it's the first time we've really had a, a wholesale report into every aspect of Chinese influence, uh, interference, and indeed uh, espionage attempts. So it, it gives a, a very wide view of how the UK and its interests are being uh, completely targeted in every single sector. A and also, they really sound the warnings about uh, what they refer to as the glacial pace of government policy in this area and, and the fact that successive governments have, uh, as it were, taken the money instead of uh, being alive to security risks, that we are now playing a, a, a very dramatic game of catch-up. Uh, in some areas, it might be too late. They particularly uh, raise concerns about Chinese investment in the sensi sensitive nuclear industry and say that they could, that nuclear infrastructure and say that uh, that sector could be used uh, for leverage at a future point, which is, of course, uh, going to be very concerning. And, and what might the government now do, given this, this sort of, you know, when you, like you said, you're bringing it all together, all, all this evidence? Do you think it will lead to any? shift in sort of government policy and government approach to China? Well, we've already seen a quite defensive response from the government this morning saying that they, they still want to engage with China. And of course, China is a global economic power. And, and that is always the, the complication about, you know, where you weigh up the economic interests versus the security challenge. Uh, there's certainly been more steps to take oversight of sensitive investment. Uh, there's been lots of warnings about the work of Chinese intelligence agents in the UK and, and their uh, interference at levels of government, the military, think tanks and academia. But clearly this report shows there's not been enough. Uh, it also raised concerns that time and time again, security and intelligence resources have been diverted away from China to combat the terrorist threat. Uh, and that is something that uh, senior spies are alive to, but that it is a serious resource consideration as well.